Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Dragon Quest V. Last episode we ended up in Reinhardt and uh, we saved our game here. Didn't do any exploration, uh, but now we're actually going to start exploring the castle and try to learn what's going on in this uh, area. Hold on a second, listen up. Do we find out what's going on? I don't want anyone to find out who I really am. Just for now, I'm only a traveler, okay? Alright, let's go. Let's go here. He won't let us through. We can only, uh, be, uh, go through if we, uh, were summoned by the Empress. So we're gonna have to find a different way in. The Nation's Queen is really something. It won't be long until this land conquers the entire world. Hey, there are you. You heard a try your hand at being a soldier? That's a good country for that. So as long as you fight, you get lots of money. There's nothing more enjoyable to me than war. That guy's not very nice, that skeleton. I've been thinking recently of this, but the men the Empress is scattering are all one hour short of a full quiver. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, please don't tell me these men I said that. Mm, thank the Lord a dream. But God, just that can't erase the mind from my mind that I trust you. It was the order from the Empress. Now could we have destroyed such a defenseless village? So that's all. Uh, referring back to Santa Rosa. Uh, the Empress blamed. Uh, Papas for pretending disappearing. There was no else we can go, but Henry's like, ah, oh, wait. There has to be a way we can get into the castle. And uh, Henry says, there's a secret passageway. And remember when we came in here during the night? There was that uh, hole underneath the drawbridge. So let's go um, to the side here. And there's that boat. Let's grab that boat. And we'll go into that uh, secret passageway. Press the wrong uh, direction there. We just go under there, and we'll uh, end up in a secret passageway inside the uh, underneath the castle. That'll take us into the castle courtyard. So we step on this altar, search, and there's a protrusion. We press this protrusion, and it opens up a secret passage. So. Now this thing would be really, really short, but unfortunately there's a door uh, to our left. But we'll be coming through this again. Uh, so we're going to make sure to have that door opened up. But for the first time through, we got to take the long way through. Uh, new enemy here, the Yeti. This is an enemy that could be recruited. Actually, it's not a bad enemy. Uh, they can use whips. Uh, they have uh, a war cry ability that uh, scares the enemy. Uh, they have a cold breath that can damage all enemies, so not a bad monster. Uh, the uh, n the really good monster down here though is the Slime Knight. Uh, they're really really good, uh, and they're not too hard to catch either. Uh, I actually uh, got one here, but I didn't recruit it. But there's a ton of uh, Slime Knight monster in here. They come in large groups, so should be pretty easy to recruit one here. They're actually a pretty decent monster, uh, especially if you like cheese the game and uh, get the Metal King sword in uh, Oracle Berry. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that. The Cuckle is also a good monster. I mentioned them earlier. Uh, they have the increase, decrease, and the buy kill spells, uh, so it can really uh. Put a hurt on enemies by decreasing their defense and uh, doubling your attack power. Yeah, here's a slime knight. What makes a slime knight also good is they have good that good equipment. Uh, they've done some pretty decent spells like heal more, uh, but they have uh, pretty good innate resistances to magic. Uh, there's gonna be a tricky boss later on, uh, about halfway through this generation. Uh, and the Slime Knight really helps out on them because uh, they have a pretty decent resistance to fire. That's why if you use the uh, Bang spell on them, it doesn't do a lot of damage on them. Because they have a pretty good uh, resistance to that. And we fight these uh, lava monsters later on. So, get some more equipment there for uh, Slaylin, but we already got the Shell Hat on him. And the Steel Fang, like I said, would increase a single target uh, damage, but. We like the boomerang right now, the bladed boomerang. That'll help out. Pretty good. Some wizards. These guys cannot join your party, but their uh, palette swap friends, the magicians, can. Like I said, the interesting thing about the magicians is uh, when they join your party, 
Uh, they mainly specialize in fire spells, so they have like fireball, blaze, uh, fire vault. But when you actually meet them as enemies, they cast ice bolt on you. You have the nearest enemy, which is like the wizard on the ocean. They're the ones that cast the like ice based spells, uh, ice blizzard, uh, and then thunder. It's neat how they have uh, the different monsters like that. The land wizards are fire, and the uh, water wizards are uh, ice and air. Hmm, is someone there? I've been here for too long now, and my ears and eyes no longer serve me as well as they once did. But I can tell you this simple truth. The one who got rid of Prince Henry was none other than the former queen, and our present empress. And yet she pretends to be torn apart by his disappearance and even blamed the whole ordeal on Papas. Even destroyed his village. If I met such a vile and repulsive woman, but soon she'll get hers. They're actually a, a family of monsters as the magician in the nearest. He has basically like uh, 15 families of monsters, and by families I mean uh, they basically share the same uh, type of equipment to draw. Some of the families are uh, like tiny, like uh, one just has one, two of them just have basically uh, one monster in. Some have only two monsters in. But here's the uh, real empress, apparently. She's, uh, she did set up the kidnapping of Henry, uh, but somebody else took her place afterwards. Surprisingly, you won't get any extra dialogue with uh, Henry if you try to talk to her again. So, come this way, and we want to step on this star uh, pattern that opens the door. If you step on it again, it'll close the door again, but you just want to make sure the door is open uh, because we'll be coming back this way. Well, you don't have to, but uh, it's a good way to get some extra gear and treasure. I just want to get some uh, the final monster down this area, the Inspector Monster. So, sadly, these guys can use the Surround spell, uh, and they have pretty decent resistances. But uh, if they do hit you with the surround spell, then you'll just have to rely on uh, the Gale or the uh, Henry's Bang spell to take them out. Spells aren't affected by the surround. The surround like basically uh, reduces your uh, accuracy. In some games, it's twenty uh, down to twenty percent. In other games, it's down twenty uh, to fifty percent. I'm not sure the exact number uh, in this game. But yeah, if you get surrounded, just Start using spells. Spells aren't affected by. You know. Here's, they look like cute dogs, but they're actually pups, dragon pups. So we can get into a little fight with these guys here. We already met them on the outside. They can also join your party here too. I don't think these ones can though, because uh, they're like brought on by a, uh, like a special event by talking with them. But out in the wild, you can uh, get dragon pups to join you. We'll be going through the door uh, to the right there in a little bit. But it's basically a dead end right now. But the game will direct us into that door. So we're just going to avoid going into it now. We're just going to sneak into the castle. And here we are in the kitchen. Hmm, are you a stranger here? Oh, you must be newly hired here, eh? Let me give you some advice. This king country is Lord Dale, but he's merely a pup for the Empress. She holds the true power. Best not to go up against her. Who else? She'll take our heads. The Empress back when she was a queen seemed truly to care about her son Dale, but the moment she became king, she became a totally different person almost overnight. Now it seems as though she considers King Dale a nuisance to her ambitions. I wonder what could have happened. This sounds like Dragon Quest uh, 3, where the boss troll took over uh, the One Kingdom. So we're going to have to, uh, just like with that uh, boss troll, we had to get the... Uh, Mirror of Ra to reveal uh, his true identity. We'll have to do that here too. So it's kind of they're kind of, kind of borrowing off of our uh, old games. And uh, the first time we had the Mirror of Ra was in Dragon Quest Two, and we used it to uh, break the spell on the Princess of Moonbrook. One of our companions, Hargon, the evil wizard, turned her into a dog, and uh, you had to find the Mirror of Ra in the swamp and. Then you showed it to her, and uh, it uh, turned her back, and it broke the spell. So here's uh, Prince Henry's old room, and he still doesn't have a goon badge. 
Yeah, no groom badge. That'll come into play later on. And for some reason, I guess they boarded up a staircase, his hidden stairway. But we're gonna head up and talk with uh, Dale. And that uh, goon badge will kind of make an appearance here. What business do you have in our country? As you can see, our king is not feeling himself today. Come back tomorrow. You heard the chancellor, did you not? We don't feel like, speak we don't feel like speaking to anyone. The hand whistles softly. Very true, Melise, but remember this. Goons always listen to the masters. That means you are. Chance to leave us. I must be alone with these travelers. And he doesn't really leave us. He just kind of hangs out like that. But I guess uh, Dale used to be Henry's goon as well. And uh, his little reminder there uh, made Dale realize that uh, Henry's alive. And he says we should go explore the storage uh, room uh, down below. Uh, there's a book in there that may talk about a magic mirror. Did I ever call for you? No. So if we tell him no, we tell him the truth. He tells us to get out of here. If we lie to him, he says, don't lie to me. And he so we won't be able to see the Empress now. But we will be able to use that Reinhardt key to uh, get some treasure and uh, go into the uh, room uh, where we came out from the uh, under the passageway, underground passageway. But before we do that, uh, we'll go through that underground passageway again because if we go down this way and leave the castle, we can get back onto the second floor where all those uh, higher soldiers were, and there was a uh, three treasure chests. So I'm just going to grab them right here now. And then we'll just, uh, unfortunately we don't have the uh, step guard spell right now. Uh, but we can take a damage. We'll just have to heal ourselves up. Take a, now none of this equipment we don't really need. Uh, the acorns of life are probably the best thing, but we'll put them in the uh, depository in uh, Oracleberry. But for right now we'll just uh, take this damage heal. And uh, we can sell that equipment. Now, unfortunately, the guard won't let us through, even though I just walked past him earlier. So this is why we're going to have to go through that uh, underground passageway again. But the underground passageway is going to be a real, real quick trip because we kept that door open. So as long as we don't leave the town, uh, that door will stay open. So we're going to stay here at the inn. Heal ourselves up. Get that magic, those magic points back that we used to heal ourselves after the walking on those damage tiles. And I'll just take a quick trip through the underground passageway again and that'll put us right in the courtyard where we want it to be anyway to go into that door over to the left. So I'll take our boat again. So it must be a magical boat. It just re reappears back in that same place. After we drop it off here, maybe there's a current that drags it back. But, so, like I said, the, we kept that door open, so we can just easily skip through this dungeon. Dunk. And we're back in the courtyard where we want to be, so we can go in here and we can go into the storage room with the Reinhardt key. And, uh, nope, we have to find a book here. And here it is in this one. Don't die me. Today I traveled through a palace of Whoopgate to the southern land, and that land side is a tower. In that tower, it said to exist a mirror that reflects the truth of all things. The door tower would not open to me, only the enemy possessed the key. Now there's a small metal over there, I'll get it later. Uh, we'll be coming back this way. So I just forgot to pick it up now, but... Remember there's that passageway when we first uh, left the nunnery, we went to the south, and there's that uh, weird looking thing, and there's that one guy saying this takes you to a special place. Well, this is that place. But now at this point in the game, the old man is gone. Uh, he will be back though during the night. Uh, I guess they won't let you into Reinhardt Castle during the night. Uh, so that's the game prevents you from going in. Uh, if you try to into that uh, warp passage at night time, the, the old man there blocks you. But you remember this tower we couldn't get in? Well, apparently the nunnery has the key. So we're going to head to the nunnery. 
Well, if you think we're gonna head to the nunnery, you are wrong, because we're actually gonna head to Orkleberry and drop off some stuff. Then we'll head to, uh, the nunnery. Yeah, I wanna get some more treasure in that, uh, southern tower, so we might as well, uh, lighten our inventory a little bit here. We can drop off some of those uh, acorns and stuff. Uh, the depositories sell a bunch of that uh, gear, the slime gear, uh, and that armor that we found in Reinhardt. So, let's drop off some stuff. There we go, Bean has some stuff. Elven medicine we can probably get rid of. Uh, that's better for end game later on. Medical herbs are good enough right now for healing. So, acorns and the rest we can hold on to well we'll be selling it for for money that half plate if you didn't buy it that's good armor for uh, Henry but we already have it and we already have like I said the the good uh, the hat the shell hat for our slime monster and we don't need that fang so yeah unfortunately all the stores are closed at night uh, except for that one that we, we bought the uh, wagon from the caravan so we're just going to transfer the night into day by staying at the inn and then we'll uh, it only cost us 24 gold and we're gonna make all that gold up here really easily here so just transfer the stuff with my see and make sure and it's all the same thing and sell on the same person so we'll sell all this stuff. We could get some probably more uh, medical herbs if we want to, but uh, I think we're good enough level and good enough equipment that uh, Bean's uh, magic will be enough to keep us healed in the upcoming area. We'll also get a new item in the upcoming area, uh, magic water, and you can use that. It's like a one-use prayer ring uh, from previous Dragon Quests, uh, where it'll just give you back a little bit of your magic points. So, if Bean gets low on magic points, he can just uh, use that to get some more magic points enough to keep everyone healing. So, this I guess it could be to get a, another monster, like if we had like a slime knight, I think they, they, by this point they'd have heal as well. But, like I said, we're, yeah, I'm gonna make this adventure a little bit tougher. This game's kinda easy, uh, so we'll make it a little bit harder by uh, not really getting a whole bunch of good monsters. Just get the ones that are easier at recruit, so. Well, we'll be heading down to the nunnery in our next episode, hopefully so we can uh, get the key to open that tower and find the mirror of Raw. Take care, have a good one. Bye.